Years ago, I fell in love with the pottery wheel scene from the movie Ghost. If you've seen it, I don't really need to explain. If you haven't, you've got something to download. Aside from how captivating that particular scene was, creating something from a blob of clay is well, it's kind of magic. The big question, is it easy? Well, one thing's for sure, unless you give it a go, you will never ever know. Once upon a time, every one of these students didn't know where the on button was to their pottery wheel. Now they're in the process of learning how to turn out their own works of ceramic art under the guidance of this very talented individual, Emma Vinkovic, who informs me she grew up on a steady diet of clay almost straight from the womb. My mum got into ceramics while I was in the pram and so that means I kind of grew up with clay my entire life, like literally eating the stuff. Yeah. Luckily it's organic, so it didn't <laughs> do me any harm, but I wouldn't recommend it. And that kind of led to my ma getting really into it, studying it, becoming a teacher, an artist, and then we ended up opening this place together, Clay Make, uh, nearly five years ago now in Maylands. What do you find so irresistible about clay? What are the benefits? Uh, so it's just so freeing because you can make anything you want with it. It doesn't matter if it messes up because you can just squash it and try again. There's so many different ways of doing it. And, you know, we spend so much time on our lives, like in screens and small rooms and getting to just sit there and make something as simple as a cup is just really rewarding, you know, really fun to get to share that with people. So first bit of advice is have fun. Second is wear old clothes, in particular, old pants. Mm. First, we've got to get the clay stuck to the wheel, and this is everyone's favourite bit. Whoops! <laughs> She's real stuck. Using the pedal to make the wheel go nice and fast, keeping the hands wet so it slides on through, elbows tucked in, and away we go. What I'm doing here is called centering, and that's when we get our clay nice and smooth and even. Okay, so once your clay is centered, that's when we can start opening it up and making our pot. So I slow the wheel down and in goes my fingers. So we open her up, now we can start pulling up our walls. I kind of think of this bit as being a T-Rex doing Tai Chi, because you've got your little T-Rex arms and you need to keep your hands nice and slow, steady and secure. So if I move my hands out, my pot is gonna go out and I'm gonna get more like a bowl shape. I bring my hands in, the clay is going to go in. And after half an hour, I think I've achieved a fairly reasonable interpretation of a, a well, it doesn't matter because I made it. Along with the wheel, there is a raft of other skills to learn. Glaze making and glazing, firing, you could come for a single session by yourself or with friends, or you could make it a weekly getaway. Just you, the wheel, your imagination. Claymake Studio is also what is known as an open access studio, which means anyone with a little bit of clay knowledge can buy a membership and come and use the workshop space whenever they want. Sunday is Emma's day of rest. However, check the website because she often has workshops and classes with visiting artists. And mm -hmm, if you get good at this, twice a year she has markets out in the car park. You can sell.